Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Chase of Rocky Mountain. Thank you for checking in. So today we have our 2023 Adventure Adventure Touring Jacket Buyer's Guide. There's a lot of great options in this category and there's a big price range as well. So it can be pretty difficult to decide, you know, what jacket do I want? What features are gonna be most important to me? So today we're here to help you out. We have six jackets that we're gonna show you and different price ranges, different technicality. So hopefully as we go through and we show you these six, you'll find one or maybe a couple that spark your interest. And the best advice I can give is when you see a couple that you like, go watch the product spotlights because we're gonna be pretty brief today. And in the spotlights, I'm a lot more thorough and I give all the details of all the jackets and everything. So just be, for, be sure to check those out. Another thing I do wanna point out is that for us, if you watch some of the rides we go on, we log a ton of miles on our adventure rides every year. And one of the most important requisites for us in an adventure, adventure touring jacket is that it does have armor built in. And so all these jackets are gonna have that. That's really our threshold. If you're more of the dual sport category, we're spending a lot more time trail riding off road, then yes, we have a lot of great options in that dual sport category that you can also check out at Rocky Mountain. That being said, let's get into it and let's show you the six jackets that we have up here today. Our model is matte. So matte is about five feet, 10 inches tall, about 175 pounds, a little over 40 inch chest. He's gonna be wearing a size medium and all the jackets that we're showing you today. So use him as a sizing reference. I do wanna highlight our fit guarantee, which allows you, so let's say Matt bought this jacket in a medium, but he decided it was too small or too big. He could send it back in brand new unused condition and we will give him free shipping both ways on his first exchange to make sure he gets the size that is going to be best for him. So take advantage of that. That being said, first jacket up here, this is the Tourmaster Highlander. So you're sub $500 for this jacket. And also remember too, that he will, will be wearing the matching pant for all the jackets I've been showing you. So if you do want jacket and pant combo, he'll be wearing that as well. But with the Highlander, what's nice about this is that if you're shopping for a good, just three season jacket that has a thermal liner included, this is a great option. This is the only jacket actually in our guide today that does have a thermal liner that will come included. So if that is something that's important to you, this would be a really good option. But the Highlander, does have an American cut to it, which means it is roomy. So he's got plenty of room in the chest, the torso in the arm area. So if Matt did want to add some base layers or even a mid layer to this, he could easily do that. What's nice though, is that you've got that thermal liner, but it's actually a waterproof laminated shell, which we actually prefer versus a zip-in waterproof liner. Now, some other nice features, you have CE level two armor in the shoulder as well as the elbow, and then you have a thousand denier ripstop fabric over top of that for good abrasion resistance. Lots of pockets on this jacket, lots of ventilation. We love the magnets that kind of hold the collar and the center flap here in place. But the only drawback that I could say with this jacket is just that the back pad is not CE certified. That would be something that you would have to upgrade. But aside from that, again, at this price point, sub 500 bucks, if you're looking for a good three season jacket with a thermal liner, check out the Highlander. All right, so next up we have the MSR Explore ADV jacket and pant. And look, I'm not gonna lie to you, we are biased with this gear because we had our in-house team of textile engineers design and develop the Explorer gear and it is the culmination of three years in the making, thousands of hours spent on our adventure rides, taking all that feedback, and the goal was simple, was to make a very technical set of adventure gear at a great price, and you're gonna notice too, there are features on this gear that you normally don't see until you get into gear that is several hundred dollars more, if not double the price of this, and we're very happy with the way that it turned out. So Matt, he's wearing the size medium jacket, and as far as the fit goes, we want to have a good streamlined fit, but not be too snug or too baggy. And this is the Event Expedition three-layer laminated shell. Super durable, you got the waterproof laminated liner on the inside. What's nice is that you're 100% waterproof, but also it's gonna do a great job of breathing also. Now, a couple features that I said that you're gonna see on this jacket that typically you don't see until you get into very high-end expensive gears. One, you've got the D3 armor and the shoulders and the elbows and the back pad all CE level one, but here's what's important. You have this material on the shoulders and the elbows that is called super fabric. And that what that is is actually ceramic overlays that are welded onto the fabric. And in the textile world, when it comes to adventure gear, this is arguably the most durable, most abrasion resistant fabric that you're going to find. So the durability and the protection that you're getting with this setup is really good. As far as the venting goes, again, we were able to put all the vents, the exhaust vents in the location that we felt was gonna get the most airflow going through the jacket. Same thing goes for all the pockets so we can get all our gear on our rides. Another feature that's kind of unique that was very important to us is the hydration bladder pouch that you have in the back. So 
If you are gonna be riding in conditions where it's hot or maybe you're doing some off-roading, working harder on the bike, you can put a water bladder on the back of this jacket as well. So the last thing I do wanna mention before we move on is just some features with the pants. So same technicality as the jacket. You've got the same shell. You've got that super fabric over top of the knees with the leather knee panels, D3 armor in the knees as well. And the fit, again, it's gonna have that same streamlined fit as what you're gonna get with the jacket. So again, we're very happy with this gear, very proud of it. Again, for this price, it is hard to beat how technical this gear really is. All right, third jacket that we have. This is the First Gear Kilimanjaro 2.0. Now, if you were to ask me and say, Chase, what are some of your favorite fitting jackets in this guide? This is gonna be one of my top two. I really like the fit of this jacket. Matt here said the same thing. What we noticed is that when we put this on, you still feel like you have a very protective jacket, but it doesn't have any bind. You get good mobility, so overall, just like the fit, it's got a nice streamlined fit, but it's not overly baggy, it's not too tight. I think they got it just right with this. And again, he's wearing that size medium. Now, some other things that we like about the Kilimanjaro 2.0 is you got SAS Tech, which is CE level two armor in the shoulders, the elbows, and the back pad. So that is an upgrade from that MSR Explorer that we just showed you. You do bump up about $100 in price, but you're getting the upgrade with the armor. Nice heavy duty reinforcements over the shoulders as well as the elbows. Again, plenty of pockets of this. You've got a good ventilation design, big vents here in the chest, large vent zips or exhaust vents that you have on the back of the jacket. The only gripe that we have with the Kilimanjaro 2.0 is that you have a zip-in waterproof liner. And the only drawback for us with that is with this, if you're wearing that waterproof liner inside here, it just doesn't breathe that well. So if you're wearing it and you start to heat up a little bit while you're riding, you're gonna get hot quick in this jacket. But we love the fit, we love the look of it. You've got great armor. So if you can live with having that zip in waterproof liner, the Kilimanjaro 2.0 is a really good choice. All right, so next up we have our top pick for riders that are looking for a warm, hot weather specific riding setup. This is the Baja S4 jacket and pant. And the reason that we picked this gear is because what we like is that it flows a lot of air, but you don't sacrifice durability or protection. The main body fabric for these two pieces is this Scholler Dynatech mesh. And when you feel this, it's a pretty wild fabric because to the feel, it feels super durable, super strong. But when you actually hold this up to the light, you can see through it. So you know it's gonna get a lot of airflow going through. But on top of that, you've got their Carbonite 1000D Cordura four-way stretch fabric all throughout, which we really like. You've got D3 CE level one shoulder, elbow, and back protection. And then over top the shoulders and the elbows, just like that Explorer gear from MSR, you have these super fabrics. So again, you're getting extremely good durability, abrasion, and impact protection, but in a jacket and pant, built to flow as much air as possible. And lastly, just like that Explorer gear, there is a hydration pouch on this jacket as well. But again, hot, warm weather riding, Baja S4 is the route to take. All right, so next up we have the Climb Carlsbad. Now the Carlsbad jacket pants been one of our best selling premium sets of adventure gear. And for good reason, you're getting the Gore-Tex shell now. So guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life, does a great job when it comes to breathability. But what a lot of people like so much about the Carlsbad is who it's designed for. So a few years ago, Climb redesigned this gear and they said it's built for the hard charging adventure rider. And the reason that they say that, it really is with the fitment and some of the technicality. So this gear is designed to have a roomier fit because they want to have good flexibility and good mobility. So you notice though that there are no adjuster straps on this jacket and it is the largest fitting medium that we have shown you so far. Matt could, if you really wanted to, go down to a size small. But again, it's meant to be lightweight and have good mobility again for that hard charger. But on top of that, we are talking about the Gore-Tex shell, CE level two D3 armor in the shoulders, the elbows, and the back pad with nice heavy duty fabric over top of that. It's got a really good vent design, plenty of pockets. And again, when it comes to climb, they're really well known. And so anytime you buy climb gear, including the Carlsbad, you're getting that reputation that climb has for just building incredibly strong, durable, and technical gear. So again, for the hard charging adventure rider, that's exactly who the Carlsbad gear is built for. All right, so last but not least, we have the climb Badlands Pro. Now, a lot of people are familiar with the Badlands Pro, but if you are not, this set right here is arguably the benchmark of what companies have been chasing for years now for the most durable and protective set of adventure gear that is on the market. So Climb's been through a lot of changes throughout the years with the Badlands gear, but it's really just one goal of mine, just to make the gnarliest set of adventure gear that is out there. It's built to take you around the world and Climb kind of brags and says, this is the last set of adventure and touring gear that you will ever need. Now, when you look at the price of the Badlands Pro, it's not for the faint of heart. You're over a thousand dollars 
for the jacket as well as the pant. And I don't even have enough time today to run through all the features and why this gear is at that price. You gotta go watch the product spotlight where we talk about every little detail that you're getting with this. But I'm gonna show you some of the key reasons of why this has the reputation that it does. So first and foremost, it's the Gore-Tex Pro three layer laminated shell. This is the most waterproof, breathable shell that Gore-Tex makes. Again, guaranteed to keep you dry, guaranteed for life. But on top of that, it's protection. You've got the same base fabric as that Carlsbad, but you've got this super heavy duty ripstop fabric in the chest down here on the front pocket. You've got the super fabric in the shoulders and the elbows. You've got the CE level two back pad. Everything on this is CE level two, but it's using the AeroPro D3O armor. So what's cool about this armor specifically is that it has a lot more cutout, so it's gonna breathe better while still maintaining that CE level two rating. And this is the first jacket that is going to have a chest pad. So you're gonna need some XRD padding here in the chest. You can take it out if you want to, but again, they're just taking it one step further with the impact protection. You've got a ton of pockets on this jacket with a really good venting design. You also do have a hydration bladder inside this jacket that can accept up to a three liter hydration bladder. So like I was saying earlier, if you are just after what is arguably the most bomb proof, durable, protective adventure gear on the market, this is for you. The only drawback that I could say with this is that with how much technicality you're getting with the jacket, it does feel heavier when you have it on than the other jackets, but Climb has a remedy for that. There is an adjustable kidney belt inside here that's also removable, which does help alleviate some of the weight of that jacket just to make it more comfortable for those long stints on the bike. And that's it. That is our 2023 Adventure Adventure Touring Jacket Buyer's Guide. So hopefully today with the six options that we've shown you, there was one, maybe two that sparked your interest. So again, watch the product spotlights. We're a lot more thorough in those. Read, write, or reviews. We'd love to hear your feedback. If you have questions, leave those down below. We'll get those answered. And to grab your next setup, click on the link or head over to RockyMountHVMC.com. We ship for free over 75 bucks. And we also have product guides for all the major categories for Adventure, Adventure Touring. So for Jax, we got that. We got your gloves, your helmets, everything that you need. So get subscribed, hit that notification bell, and that will keep you up to date. I'm Chase, and we'll see you on the trails. Thank you.